The last time we were together, we were talking about how we might enhance data packets so that when we get them at the receiving end of a transmission, we can tell if errors have occurred. And in some cases, we might even be able to correct the errors without asking the, the transmitting end to retransmit the, the, the packets. So just as a quick review, I would like you to turn to the person next to you and look at this packet of information right here. And I'll tell you right now that the last column and the last row are using parity grid. And what I'd like to know here, I'll, I'll give you a hint. This packet, one of the bits has accidentally flipped during transmission. So one of these bits is an error. I'd like you to work with your partner to figure out which bit is an error, what value is it now, what value should it be. Please do that now. So what I'm doing here is I'm just starting off reviewing one of the three schemes that we're going to be discussing to ensure data integrity. This one's called parity. We're going to learn two others today. One's called checksum and the other's called cyclic redundancy checks or CRC. But I wanted to start off by reviewing parity. So, um, okay, Ben, which one is the problem bit? Okay, this is the problem right here and it should be a zero. And how do we know that? What, what type of parity is being used in this block? Okay, so there's odd number of ones in each row and each column. You can see there's three, 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 one, three, three. But you notice that this column and this row has an even number of ones, and so it's out of step with everything else in this packet, and that's how we're able to coordinate where the error is. See that, right? So this is using an odd parity scheme. It's got a grid scheme for each, the last column and the last row are all parity bits, specially selected. And we can use this scheme to detect and correct single bit errors. Now, if I was to just look at one row here, like let's take a look at this row. Uh, we know that this particular bit here is the parity bit. So this is the payload, three bits of payload. And I've added this parity bit to make sure that the number of ones here is odd. If I was to accidentally or just say randomly select a parity bit, what would be the probability that the parity bit would be correct? This, instead of calculating it, if I just randomly assigned the parity bit, what would be the probability that I picked the right one? Yes, 50%. You see that, right? Now, you can see that that's an awfully large number. What we really want is we prefer a scheme where we're not going to just get the right answer by luck half the time. We want something that's going to be much more precise. So what I'm going to show you today are two other schemes that are used in place of parity. Parity is still used for individual characters sometimes, but when we have entire large packets being transmitted, we don't usually use parity. We use something else either called a checksum or a CRC. And those are the two that I'm going to review with you today.